Hey everyone, it's Tom from eReplacementParts.com and today we're going to share some tips for giving your lawnmower a spring tune-up and getting it ready for mowing season. eReplacementParts.com is your one-stop shop for all lawnmower and small engine parts. Visit us by clicking the link in the description below or heading to eReplacementParts.com. The first thing you're going to want to do is check the drive wheels. Make sure that they can turn freely and that there's still plenty of tread left on the tires. If not, now's the time to order replacements. Now inspect the starter rope and make sure it's not too worn or damaged. You also want to check out the grass bag for any wear and tear. If you don't think they'll last through the entire season, now's the time to replace them. Next, check your cables. Look for any signs of fraying or damage in the throttle cable or self-drive cable. We have model-specific video tutorials to help you replace these if they're worn out. Now you want to turn your attention to the engine. Before you begin this stage of the tune-up, you want to make sure that you've drained all the fuel from the mower and that you've drained the oil from the crankcase as well. Once the fuel and oil have been drained, take a look at the air filter. The air filter is important because it prevents dirt and debris from getting into your carburetor. You want to check that it's not too dirty or damaged, and if it is, you'll want to replace it. We also recommend that you change out the air filter at the beginning of each mowing season to ensure your mower works its best. Now you can access the carburetor. Check to make sure no dirt or debris has made its way into the carburetor and give it a quick cleaning using some carb cleaner. While you're looking at the carburetor, make sure that the primer bulb isn't brittle or cracked. This can lead to a fuel leak and replacing it with a new one is an easy fix. The next step in your tune-up is to inspect the spark plug. Start by checking the cap for any corrosion and then remove the plug itself. When looking at the plug, check for any buildup or corrosion. You can occasionally give your spark plug a cleaning with a soft wire brush, but we recommend that you replace it with a new one at the beginning of each mowing season. This will help ensure an easy startup. With the spark plug replaced, the next thing you'll want to do is look at the muffler. Do a visual inspection and determine if there's any rust or corrosion. If so, watch our model specific video showing you how to replace it. The last step of the engine inspection is to take a look at the starter assembly. Remove the starter assembly from the engine and set it on a suitable work surface. If you looked at the starter rope earlier and determined it needed to be replaced, now's the time to do it. Once the new one is installed, pull the rope and make sure that the starter assembly turns properly. With the engine inspections complete, we'll now look at the underside of the mower. You want to begin by cleaning out any caked on grass, dirt or debris from the mower deck. If you notice there's excessive rust under the deck, it may be time for a new one. Next, take a look at the cutting blade. A dull blade will result in poorly cut grass, so you want to make sure that it's sharp at least once per season, depending on how much you use it. You can sharpen a dull blade using a bench grinder or simply replace the blade with a new one. We have video tutorials teaching you how to sharpen and replace your blade, so check those out in the description below. Either way, you'll want to take care that the blade has been properly tightened. A wobbly blade can result in poorly cut grass and poses a safety hazard. The final step in your lawnmower maintenance routine is to replace the engine oil. Make sure that you've selected the correct engine oil for your mower. You can check your mower's user manual for more information on what oil is right for you, or you can watch our lawnmower oil guide, which we've also linked in the description. Now that you've given your lawnmower a proper tune-up and have replaced any parts that were causing trouble, you can get out and mow your lawn with confidence. Thanks so much for watching. Is there anything that you do differently when you give your mower a tune-up? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you have any other questions, feel free to drop those in the comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.